This tutorial is brought to you by blog2media.com. Hey everyone, William here, and today I want to show you how you can add a email sign-up form to your website using Aweber, which is my preferred uh, autoresponder provider. And uh, if you want to learn more about Aweber, you can actually go to blog2media.com forward slash Aweber. So basically, I have logged into my Aweber account. To do so, you just go to aweber.com and log in with your information once you're already a customer. Now, once you do that, at the top, you're gonna you'll be logged into your home page. But from there, you want to go to Web Forms at the top, and then you're gonna click on Create a New Web Form. Okay, once it loads up here, you got a bunch of options here. And uh, basically, you can go through all the different templates. Um, a good place to start if you're not sure is going up to the popular templates. And you can see a bunch of different custom colors. And you can click through these and uh, like see for this modern design, you have all these different color options to make it match your website better, which I highly recommend you do. Uh, if you optimize it to blend in with your website, it's going to get more conversions. So just make sure you do that. And uh, you can go through those here. And this is actually very similar to the one I have on my website. And uh, so you could go through these. And I like this one. It's got the nice arrows drawing attention in. And uh, so let's uh, let's load this one up just to get an idea of what you can do with it. Okay, so now we have it in here, and uh, one thing that I like to do is uh, I actually like to show that if you sign up for my list, you get our blogging toolkit along with our other guides. So what I would probably do, and just because I don't have the image saved, we're going to head over to blogtomedia.com real quick. And we will click on our free guides here. And I'm going to save this image. So we have it. Okay. So we'll just go back here. Okay. And actually, you can see what my sign up form looks like right here on the right hand side of my website. So I'm going to show you how you can create something like this which is very nice, uh, blends in with the website nice. And, uh, you know, it, it shows people that they can sign up, get our free guides and our toolkit. So all you need to do is uh, we've selected our template. So now what we want to do is add in an image. Okay, now if you want to add an image to your form, you first have to upload it somewhere online. And what I usually do just to make things simple is I will add it to the media section of my website. And in order to do that, you have to be logged into your WordPress dashboard. So let me go there. And you'll just click on media, add new. And we will upload that picture that we downloaded in the last step. Okay, and what I will do is just grab this file URL and hit Control C on the keyboard to copy it. And I will go back into Aweber. And I'm going to click this button at the top for image. And I'm going to paste that URL right there. And you can change this information if you would like. I will put it in the center and hit save. Now, I definitely don't want my image down here, so if I left click, it allows me to drag it up to the top. And I will put that there, right above the sign up box. And I'm actually going to change the alignment back to left. It looked a little bit better, I think. So let's save that. Okay. And then what I want to do is I'll come up here to the header section. And when I left click in there, it'll pop up that box to edit it. And I will just grab the text that I already have for my website just to make it easier. But you can really type in here anything that you want. 
uh, anything that you think would be appealing to your audience that would get them to sign up. So like I said, I'll just paste that in there. And you can change the formatting however you would like with the the font, the font size, the uh, bold italics, underlines, and different line spacing and anything that you want to do with it. And once you're done, let's see, you can hit save. And you can see on mine it looks uh, really crammed right now. So I think what I did was actually spread it out a little bit, make it a little bit wider to look a little bit nicer. And I did it that way. So you can see that here. And uh, so if you click on advanced, you can uh, change the padding, how much you want with that there. I won't mess with any of these. Just leave that up. And once you've done this, uh, you're ready to go to the next step. And right here, I highly recommend that you name it so that way when you look at your statistics, you can see which form is performing the best. So I will write tutorial test form, but you want to name that whatever you think is most helpful. I'm not going to enable Facebook integration for the thank you page. I will leave it as the basic version, subscribe page, basic version, and I will now go to step three. And it requires you to save it before you can publish it. So I will click save form. And it's going to load here for a while while it's saving. And this next step is where you actually publish it to your website, which I will probably do an another tutorial on. Uh, but just to show you the beginning of the steps is uh, you want to click I will install my own form. There's no need to have someone else do it for you. So you just click on this. And uh, the easiest way to do it is using this little bit of JavaScript code. So you would just copy that and you would need to paste that into your website. And like I said, I'll do a separate tutorial for that and I'll link to that in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please give it a thumbs up below and thanks so much for watching.